What's up you guys? Welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be super sweet and short. Today I'm doing names that I love but will not be using. Just to kind of preface, today I am 17 weeks and 4 days. We have no idea what the gender is. We actually find out in 2 days. Ah, I'm so excited. So I picked both girls and boys names to do. These are the ones that I for sure won't be using. I'm kind of into unisex names. I don't really have any unisex names on this list. I'm, so I'm like keeping those to myself so far. And uh, yeah, we'll see what happens. I have five girls names, five boys names that I picked out. And I have to tell you, it was so hard for me to pick out boys names. I don't know why, but anytime I think of like baby names, the only ones I can come up with are girls, which is funny because I kind of have a feeling it's a boy. I mean, I don't know. I don't really, no one can ever really know that, but I just get like boy vibes with this pregnancy, you know? So I've been making a list of names that I like for babies um, since I was basically like 17, which is funny because I never thought I would actually have kids, but for some reason I still always had this like folder in my phone in my notes that had like baby names so I've kind of looked at that and looked at like everything I've liked in the past as well as new ones that I thought were kind of cute um and yeah I just kind of picked off that list on what I liked but decided not to use so without further ado I'm gonna jump in to these mm, do I start with boy or girl Let's do boys first. Okay, so the first name that I really love but I won't be using is Hank. I think that is such a cute little boy name, especially when they're like a little baby, like little baby Hank sounds so cute. Um, however, my aunt and uncle have a dog named Hank and as cute as he is, I feel like all I would, I would ever think of is this dog. Um, so that is a no-go. The second name I have for boy is Oliver. It's such a cute name. It represents like the olive tree in the Bible, I guess. And it actually means um, fruitful and dignified. Um, and I think it's a really adorable name. You could like make it even cuter by like calling him Ollie. But um, yeah, I don't know. I just, I don't get, I'm, I'm just not gonna use it probably. This is so funny. Four out of the five boy names that I picked are biblical and like that was not even intended. The third name that I really love for a boy is Jonah. I think that's adorable as well. I think I would always think of Jonas Brothers. Uh, Jonah, Jonas, kind of similar. Not a big deal, but yeah, I don't know. I don't think I'm gonna, gonna use it if it's a boy. The fourth boy name I have on this list it's Noah. I have always, always, always loved the name Noah for a boy. It's adorable. It reminds me of The Notebook, which is just like one of the sweetest, most like romantic love stories ever. I know I'm such a cheese ball and super basic, but what can I say? Also, one of my best friends growing up, like I've known this girl since I was um, probably like since JK, junior kindergarten. I've known her for forever. One of her brothers is named Noah, and again, kind of similarly with Hank, I feel like I would just think of the person that I knew. The last name I have on my list for boys' names is Eli. Eli is such a sweet name. Little baby Eli. I think it's so cute. The thing with Eli is I feel like people would call him, like they would automatically think his name is Elijah which I wouldn't want. I don't like the name Elijah, but I love the name Eli. And that, I guess that's kind of part of the reason why I would like not want to name my baby that. Also, my roommate in college and my sister dated the same guy and his name was Eli. Great guy, shout out to him. If he ever sees any of these, I'd be surprised. But yeah, sorry, no, not naming my baby after you. Okay, moving on to girls names i had such a hard time narrowing them down because literally my list for girls names was i 
probably like four times longer than my boys names list I've always 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 like pictured myself having a girl but again like for some reason I kind of gravitating towards boy vibes I don't have a preference to what we're having but I've always like imagined myself having like a little baby girl so I guess coming up with girls names is easier um, than coming up with boys names so I'm not like super into like really out there names if you notice with like the boys names I find that especially today um, people name their kids like the most out there things and like that's totally fine some of them are really cool some of them I think are kind of ridiculous I probably shouldn't give examples but I will but like that actress who named her daughter Apple if your kid's name is Apple you do you whatever you want I'm just I'm just not into it you know if you love out there names like that's amazing but I am like I said in one of my last videos I feel like I'm like an 85 year old grandma who just like gravitates towards traditional things and like old-fashioned stuff and so I guess when it comes to like picking names I'm kind of like that as well um, both for boys and girl names so for girls the first name on my list is Natalie I have loved the name Natalie since I was probably like I don't know 14 but mostly the reason why I like it is because it can be an English name and a French name. In Canada, like we're bilingual. My fiance, his family's from Quebec, so a lot of like his family speaks French. So having a name that would like be pronounceable, pronounceable, I don't know. Um, but having a name that can be both said easily in both English and French would be great. And Natalie or Natalie, I think is so beautiful. And if we had a girl, I think. I would seriously consider naming her Natalie, but as of right now, it just doesn't feel, the baby doesn't feel like Natalie. And again, like I don't even know what the gender of our baby is yet, but I don't know, I'm just not feeling it with this pregnancy. Maybe if I were to get pregnant again, I don't know, maybe I might use that name because I have always loved it. The second name I have on my list of girls names I love but not gonna use is the name Athena um, I know I'm gonna get hate for this one because a lot of people in my family hate the name but Athena is just such a cute name and it's kind of funny because Brent really likes the name too and we kind of joked around that if we had like a little girl and she was really small we would nickname her um, teeny Thini. It means Greek for wise. It's super cute. And again, it was on my list of long time, like really liked girl names. But again, just kind of looking through the ones that I like most, it just didn't make the cut. My third name that I love, 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 but I'm not going to be using, um, is Lauren. However, not Lauren with an E. It's Lauren with an I. L-A-U-R-I-N. Um, the reason why I won't be using this name is because it's actually my middle name. The name Lauren actually holds a really special place in my heart because not only am I named Lauren, my cousin Eva, her middle name is Lauren too. We share the same middle name. However, hers is spelled L-A-U-R-E-N. We were given that middle name because our grandfather's name was Lauren. And so we got the female version of Lauren put in our in our names. And there's nothing wrong with like naming your baby after yourself. I don't know. I'm just not gonna do it. I really do love it. And I might consider it still for a middle name. Carry on the family tradition. But we'll see. I'm not sure. The next name I've got here is Ruby. I always thought I really would like the name Ruby and it was it's been in my list like my little baby girl name bank for a really long time probably just as long as Natalie had been and I really think it's cute it's a sweet little short name I do like short names probably because my name is so long it's a little bit of a contrast I think the reason like I'm just not gonna be probably wanting to use that one is just I think I've just outgrown it. I still think it's adorable. I just don't think that's something that I want to name my baby anymore. Um, but yeah, it's still super cute. I still love it. It's just, I've outgrown it. And the last name is actually, I guess it's kind of two names, but one of them could be like a nickname of one of them. I know my family is going to be like, ew. But the name is Lucy or Lulu. 
I don't know why. I just think they're super cute. Um, really, again, just like really simple names, like old fashioned, not like super old lady. Like we're not talking like Bertha or Martha. Sorry if your baby is named Martha or Bertha. Lucy, I think it's super cute. And Lulu is kind of like a spinoff of it. But what's funny is they both mean different things. So Lucy, it means light. And Lulu actually is Arabic for pearl. So they actually have two different meanings. But if I were to name my baby Lucy, I would have called her Lulu. But uh, yeah, I'm just, again, with that one, I still really think it's cute. I just... I don't know. It's just not one we're probably going to use. So yeah, that is all I have for... Oh, this is so appropriate for baby names, this book. It's pink and blue. So cute. Anyway, yeah, I am so, so excited to go to the anatomy scan. Brent has to be out of town, so my mom's going to come with me, and they won't write it down because of legal issues. Um, so what they're going to do is do the anatomy scan, kick me out of the room, and then my mom's going to be told, and it kind of kills me a little bit that she knows before I do, but I mean, if anybody is going to know before me, I guess it'll be my mom. So yeah, she's gonna know, and then she's going to make us cupcakes with the icing inside. We will not be saying the name of our baby until it is born. So we won't be announcing it to anybody, not our family, nothing. If we're gonna keep like one secret, it's gonna be that. We're not like keeping the gender a secret. So if we're gonna keep one thing just for us, it's gonna be the name. I really don't wanna feel like when I'm like thinking about my baby's name and I tell somebody um, that we're gonna name the baby that and then they're like, oh, and so I start second guessing it. So we are waiting until the baby is born. And so I guess you'll have to wait and see. I am thinking of doing a video of Brent picking out names and me reacting to them. I know those videos are super popular on YouTube and honestly, I love watching them. I get such a kick out of them. But yeah, that pretty much wraps this video up. Was there one more thing I wanted to say? I can't remember. I can't remember anything these days. Okay, I guess not. So I hope you like this. Please give this video a thumbs up if you like the video. It really helps out my channel. And yeah, please subscribe if you feel inclined, if you're wanting to follow some more of this surprise pregnancy journey. And yeah, that is it for today. We're so excited to film the gender prediction using Wise Hills. It's gonna be super fun and just silly. And then after that, it's going to be the gender reveal. I literally can't contain my excitement. Okay, I should go calm down now. Okay, bye.